Welcome back guys. So nandito na naman tayo. Follow up vlog from my previous video. So kung hindi niyo pa napapanood guys, yung video ko about macros. Ano na rin na, okay? Para mas madali tayong makasunod ngayon. So, yun nga today um ang dami ko nakikita online na misleading information, okay? So, social media to Facebook, to YouTube, to Instagram, napadaming misleading. So, suggest ko guys, more research pa by your own. May Google naman tayo, okay? So, before tayo maniwala, i-validate muna natin, okay? Yung mga informations na nakukuha natin online. And one more thing, ayun nga, isa sa pinakakomon na nakikita ko na topic online o sa social media, sa groups, is how to lose weight or how to lose fat. So, sir, paano po ba ako maglulus ng fat? Paano po ba ako maglulus ng weight? Paano po ba ako magiging uh, super shredded? So, nandiyan na yung mga comments. Comment number one, keto diet. Comment number two, intermittent fasting. Comment number three, carb cycling. Comment number four, low carb diet. Low fat diet. Name it. You name it, guys. Nandiyan lahat yan. Tama naman kayo. Tama lang dyan. As long as naka-calorie deficit ka. So, kung hindi ka naka-calorie deficit ng mga diet nito, useless. Okay? Believe me, useless yan. So, ano ba yung calorie deficit? So, calorie deficit from the word itself, deficit. So, kailangan you need to eat less more than you burn or vice versa you need to burn more more than you consume okay so ayun yung tinatawag nating calorie deficit so paano ba natin kukunin yung calorie deficit so ganito yan so na discuss ko na to from my previous videos twice na o paano kunin yung maintenance calories so ito ulit tayo ito na naman maintenance calories is body weight in pounds times 16 so that's for me so depending on activity level natin you can take times 14 if active times 12 if not very active or sedentary okay so yan pag nakuha mo na yan total niyan is your maintenance calories so ang gagawin mo para makuha yung um, calorie deficit mo is minus 500 Okay? So, minus 500. Yan yung basic. Okay? Pero ang ginagawa ko dito, gradually, gradually ako ng the deficit. So, ginagawa ko lang dyan is minus 200. And then, maybe after 2 weeks, I'll go down to minus 400. And then, after 2 weeks again, I'll go down to minus 500. So, depende rin yan sa metabolism nyo and sa body fat levels nyo. Okay? Pero, Ang target nyo talaga dyan is minus 500, okay? So, yun. Pag, na, pag na-compute nyo na yun, makukuha nyo na yung calorie deficit nyo. So, yun yung target calories nyo na kailangan malampasan nyo. Okay? I mean, hindi malampasan ng kain, ha? Kailangan mas marami kayong ma-burn dun sa calorie deficit nyo. Okay? So, for example, calorie deficit mo is 2,000 or 2,100 you need to burn more than that okay so yung energy expenditure mo kailangan mas mataas dito kasi ang goal natin dito is magamit mo yung stored fats mo as energy kasi calories is equals to energy okay so para na para maburn natin yung fats mo or magamit natin yung stored fats mo as energy source kailangan ma-reach natin tong deficit. Okay? So, ayun guys. So, yung calorie deficit na to, kahit anong kainin mo, okay? Kahit uminom ka ng beer or kumain ka ng pizza, as long as pasok dyan sa calories na yan, hindi ka lumampas, maglulose weight ka, okay? Tama yun. Pero, yung body composition mo ang problema natin dyan. 
Kapag yung quality ng diet mo, ganito, beer, pizza, tapos, deficit ka nga. Ang mangyayari sa'yo, maglo-lose weight ka, pero hindi ka mag maintain ng muscle mass, and yung body fat percentage mo, hindi rin maganda ang labas. Okay? So, kailangan, quality yung foods na kinakain mo. Quality dapat yung diet mo. Okay? Dapat on track yung macros mo, yung protein, fats, and carbs mo. Dapat on point yan. Okay? Kaya nga natin ginakalculate yung macros natin. Kaya nga natin kinukuha yun na tinatra. Para maganda yung kalabasan ng diet natin. Okay? So, ganito yan. Ito yung kailangan natin gawin. Yung quality of food or quality of diet. Very important yan. So, ano bang uh, mga factors ang kailangan natin i-point out? So, ano muna? Yung full food. Full foods guys, so suggest for whole foods. Uh, so anything from nature, like vegetables, fruits, um, ano pa ba? Basta hindi siya refined or processed. Okay? Pwede slightly refined, but mas maganda whole food tayo. So yun yung mga vegetables, fruits, eggs, chicken breast. Okay? So, yun yung first point natin, yung full foods. So, pangalawa, oh, i-add ko na rin pala, uh, stay away from uh, refined, refined and processed foods, okay? Or just minimize, okay? At least. So, yun yung mga hot dogs, mga hams, pusino, mga ganun guys. <laughs> so, yun muna tayo dun, okay? So, stick tayo sa whole foods. Like eggs, chicken, mga ganun. Okay? So, um, another point is, um, ko ba? So, yung palatability, siguro good point din yun. Palatability means, yung taste ng pagkain mo, yung texture ng pagkain mo. So, ano rin siya? considered as uh, one of the main factors sa so, para pagpili ng uh, good diet okay? or quality of your diet. So, nakaka-affect siya yung palatability. So, kailangan stay away din tayo sa mga, for example, cheesecake, guys. So, napakarami ingredients niyan. Napakarami ingredients sama-sama. So, pag natikman mo yan, ang magiging problema dyan is you will crave more. So, parang may addictive content siya. So, you will crave more, crave more. So, sa mga nagda-diet dyan, alam na alam nyo yan, guys. Sa mga nakain ng mga donuts or cakes, alam nyo yan, magkikrave kayo lalo kapag nakatingin kayo, kahit po ang kilang, kapag, na, kapag on diet kayo. Okay? So, stay away from sweets. Basically. And, one more factor to consider is yung protein and fiber mo. So, kapag naka-high protein ka, big help yan guys. Kapag naka-high protein ka, you will feel full for a longer period of time. So, hindi ka mabilis magutom. Same goes with fiber. Okay? So, tinutulungan ka niya na ano, hindi masyadong makaramdam ng gutom. So, hindi ka magkikrave. So, good point yun. And yung, mas, yung protein, nakakahag dun siya para i-maintain yung muscles mo while you're, uh, you are on caloric deficit. Kasi kapag nakaloric, nakakaloric deficit ka, your main goal is to maintain the muscle mass. Kasi napakahirap mag-gain ng muscles kapag nakadeficit ka. Okay? Especially if natural ka. Okay? So, yung building ng muscles, sa bulking phase yan ginagawa. Okay? Hindi yung kapag nakakaloric deficit. So, tandaan nyo lang itong mga points, points na to pointers so kailangan nyo i-consider yan kapag nakadiet kayo so yun guys, yun yung caloric deficit so kahit anong diet gawin nyo kapag hindi kayo nakakaloric deficit walang mangyayari so kailangan nyo kunin yung caloric deficit nyo kailangan nyo i-track yung macros nyo and kailangan nyo rin tingnan yung quality ng diet nyo at ng mga foods na ginagamit nyo, okay? Para quality tayo, guys. Quality condition. 
Ano magiging ano magiging maganda yung labas ng diet niyo, okay? So hindi naman siya ganoon kahirap. Kailangan lang maging consistent kayo. Right? So ayan. Tapos na tayo sa calorie deficit. So next topic na gagawin mo siguro. Balik tayo naman natin sa bulking naman tayo. Calorie surplus. So gawin ko na lang 'yon sa next video ko para mas maganda yung usapan natin. Hindi tayo manilito, okay? Tapos na. Tapos na. Tapos na tayo. Calorie deficit, guys. So, I hope may natutunan kayo. Same, same. If may comments kayo, suggestions, um, yun nga. Reach me out. Reach me out, guys. PM nyo lang ako sa Facebook page ko. And sa Instagram, DM nyo lang ako, guys. Okay, may ya. Okay? God bless you guys. See you in the next video.